Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it on side. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to have your own reading, please do contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you so please do not hesitate. Also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So um, with no further ado let's begin this reading. This is a reading with the universe. The universe wants to send you some true love and some romance so let's go and see what's in store for you. We're going to begin with some abundance. We're going to follow up with some spiritual maturity and we're going to conclude with some worthiness. So let's begin all the way at the top with some abundance over here. This is about using your existing abundance to create beautiful things in your life. And you are going to be rewarded in more ways than you can imagine. Now, are you living an abundant life, do you think? And if so, how do you measure abundance? Because you've received this message by the universe today because your angels and your guides would like to remind you that abundance is so much more than how much cash you have. Financial abundance, which is often the cause of immense stress for individuals, for couples, is really only a very small part of the overall picture. Now, true abundance, it encompasses every area of your life. So, good health is a major source of abundance. So, uh, looking after your health rather than seeking treatment if ever you're ill is a priority. Close friendships, also vital to an abundant life. A supportive and loving friend who you can talk about, about anything, is worth a thousand acquaintances. Now, a positive attitude and the ability to learn and grow throughout life are also part of that abundant way of being because more than anything else, abundance is a state of mind and ultimately it is a choice. So loving and being loved is definitely going to make you feel more abundant. And if you're longing to meet your soulmate, it's your willingness to appreciate. It's acknowledge and accept yourself that allows you to feel more abundant and it will help you manifest a partner. In a relationship, your abundance of health, friendships and mindset are going to bring joy to your partnership as well as more love. So naturally, you're right to create a healthy level of material abundance too. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable so long as you keep your pursuit of the material in perspective. Consider whether you want to discuss your salary or your bank balance on a first date or if you'd rather talk about the wonderful hobbies and friends and attitudes that make your life oh so rich or do you want your relationship to focus primarily on money, on property? Or would you like the focus to be on fun, on intimacy and mutual support? I think the answer is easy. So remember to be abundant in the full sense of the world. And uh, it means to be fascinating, to be lovable, to be creative, and really to be resourceful. So we're now going to move on over to your follow-up message. And this is the spiritual maturity. Now, this is about honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved it is really vital for a loving relationship. What is spiritual maturity and why is it important in a relationship? This is about taking a moment now to think about how you would answer those questions. Spiritual maturity is also going to take into account the spiritual compatibility. For example, if you believe in reincarnation, karma and higher power, that lovingly guides you, then how compatible can you be with a person who believes in a judgmental God and only one opportunity to get it right before being sent to heaven or hell? Being spiritually mature means that you can accept another person's point of view while being able to choose the very best match for yourself, but wisely. So a spiritually mature person doesn't have all the answers to life the universe and everything else 
but at the very least they will have given these topics some type of consideration. So spirituality is mature people um, endeavor to think for themselves because the maturing process actually requires that you question what your family and your culture teaches you until you come to your own center of belief and your own truth. Now you've received this message by the universe today because it's important for you to prioritize spiritual maturity in yourself and in your partner. This is going to aid you in connecting with a true soulmate or allow your existing relationship to simply grow. And understanding of each other's beliefs and feelings can be realized through respectful and mindful conversations. Ask your prospective or existing partner what their beliefs are and never assume. Create a space in your relationship for that spiritual maturity to simply flourish. Have the courage to explore but beyond the beliefs and the ideas that were handed to you as a child and be willing to take over whatever steps are necessary to simply mature yourself in that domain. So when you do this, you are going to attract the best person for you. And if you are in an existing relationship already, well, you can open doors to many new and exciting possibilities for you and for your partner to simply enjoy. So let's move on over now to your final message and this is all about worthiness very important we don't often don't realize you need to remember that you were created perfectly by the loving forces of the universe now believing that you deserve to be loved is a very powerful state of mind and it's a very powerful way of being you have received this message today because your angels and your guides would like to encourage you to understand one very important fact you are the only one who can truly decide that you are deserving. No one else has that, right? Yet we give this power to other people and even to trends and fashion time and time again. So no matter who you are or what you've done during your life, it is unlikely that every person you meet will like you and want the very best for you. It is possible to spend your entire life analyzing why certain people form the opinions that they do. It's also possible to spend your entire life trying to please them and to make them like you. As though this is really going to make you a better person. So you need to consider now the choice that you have before you and choose to accept that you deserve love. You deserve happiness, you deserve support and companionship and friendship and all those good things and you deserve them now. Not because somebody else said that you do, that you deserve it, no, because you're responsible for the quality of your own life and there is nothing in the universe that judges you or finds you wanting. You are not expected to be perfect and one of the defining factors of a soulmate relationship is that you are going to grow and evolve together. So let's take a moment now to just look at yourself into the mirror. Yes, I really said that. And look into your own eyes and notice your miraculous uniqueness. The universe would not have created you if you were somehow faulty or defective, useless or unimportant. So from now on, remind yourself that the loving forces of the universe created you and that you naturally deserve to love and to be loved, but just exactly as you are. And this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting um, messages that you'll be able to use. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe before leaving the channel and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. I'll see you soon. Many blessings.